Okay guys, so as you can see we've got the Vostok vacuum tube Tesla coil here. It's a Hartley oscillator, so it's using a feedback coil as you can see down the bottom here. And it's using two 811 vacuum tubes. They are triodes, power triodes. And they are currently wired in parallel at the moment, but that may well change, so um, we'll uh, stay tuned for that anyway. But yeah, I'll uh, do a demonstration guys so you can see the, uh, the output as it is. I'm currently getting about 6 to 7 inch arcs off it, so they are about 150-155 millimeters for those metric guys. And um, yeah, so we'll just uh, let the tubes warm up a little bit and we'll cut back and uh, power it up guys, so bear with me. Okay guys, so the valves are now warm enough to actually run the Tesla coil, so we'll uh, power on, so that's going going on, crank the voltage up, this one doesn't quite self start, you have to just give it a little tickle on the top there just to get it going, and then we'll ramp the power up past 70%, 80, 90, 100, 110, there you go. Yeah, it's producing about a six, seven, maybe even, that's probably about seven inch arc on the top there as you can see. Um, it's quite quiet, so you can't actually, um, you don't have to put your fingers in your ears when it's running. Uh, you can hear me talking over it, so you can tell it's pretty quiet, so yeah. Yeah, not too bad. Um, and oscillate tubes as well, as you can see. Baby tubes. Also, because it's high frequency, high voltage, it's also possible to touch the top of the arc with your hand. It's um, it's not really painful, somewhat tingly, I'd say. So yeah, it's actually uh, somewhat tingly on top there. That's quite interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's fun to do. Also a light up the tentacles and uh, the fluorescent tubes on the top to do also. This is very cool. I've taken one of these lights out the strip light. Tubes out the strip light. They also light up one of the big tubes in it. You get a pretty decent amount of uh, power there as you can see guys. So that's a 5 foot fluorescent. That one there. And also the air, the frequency, as I wave the fluorescent tube in front of it. It's, uh, interesting. It smells of ozone in here, you can certainly uh, smell that. <laughs> Cleans the air. This will run in definitely for about 10 minutes, no problem with uh, the microwave oven transformer because it's a big Japanese transformer, so it takes ages and ages to get warm. You know, the Japs build their transformers quite well, so no problems with running this for long periods. Okay, so we'll run that down. It's drawing about 6 amps by the way guys, at uh, maximum. About 110% just to get that extra inch out of it. So even after the arc's actually extinguished, it's still oscillating. That's running at about 40%. I can take it down lower. 20% input voltage. 10%, would it do 10? Yep, 10%, there so you go. About 25 volts, 24 volts. That's pretty much, that's off now. Two. And turn the uh, filaments down as well.
using two variax to, uh, to power it as you can see over here guys that's the current setup we've got the the large 15 amp variac there so I'm pulling about 6 amps off that one I've got the small one out there that's going to be running the filaments only so that's pulling less than 1 amp it's uh, 50 VA so yeah about that, about that much in watts so that's the, uh, the setup over there So the way the vacuum tube Tesla coil actually works guys, right, it's got a couple of vacuum tubes there, it's got a work coil, it's got a grid coil, and it's got a secondary coil with a top load. Then underneath you've got a tank capacitor, you've got a resistor and other capacitor, uh, you've got a little step down transformer there, and you've got another decoupling capacitor here. So there's not many components to it, you know, there's nothing, there's no sorcery going on here, you know. So Basically, basically, power comes in. This is the uh, the power coming from the 15 amp variac over there. It's pulling about six amps at maximum load, right? So the power comes in on this connector. It goes into the microwave oven. Um, it goes into the microwave oven transformer there. It's rated for about 700 watts. It's a Japanese transformer. It's absolutely massive, so. It'll, uh, it'll take a decent amount of uh, abuse there without getting actually warm. So then that will then generate about 2000 volts of power then, a voltage. And that then goes out from the transformer through that little white lead and it'll go into the tank capacitor. So that's about 1.88 nanofarads of capacitance there. And that is directly in parallel with the work coil, which is this coil up here, the thicker coil, which is about 22 turns of 1.5 enamel copper wire. And then once it gets to that point, it starts to expand a magnetic field, which then, as well as going up the secondary, it also induces onto the grid coil. And the grid coil is then connected through the feedback circuit there, the grid drain circuit, which is that long resistor and the little green capacitor there, which determines the duty cycle. It then goes back to the grid in the vacuum tube Tesla, uh, the vacuum tube 811s there, the triodes, at which point it tells them to turn off. So they actually turn off the work coil. So then your, your magnetic field collapses, your, uh, your arc goes down, and then it all starts again. So then the power comes in, it pulses it again, tells it to turn off, and there you go. You've got basically a Hartley oscillator running quite happily there. Uh, small, the other components here, like this, this capacitor is the decoupling capacitor, so that's running the filaments which is also the cathodes on these. So all of the power coming from the anodes going through to the cathodes goes through this capacitor to make it back to ground. The capacitor just stops the, the high frequencies going into the six volt transformer, which you can see over the back there, the little toroidal transformer. That's what those guys, that's that guy there, the little six volt transformer. So that's what that capacitor does. Yeah, that transformer is then powered from the 1 amp variac, which is the little square variac over there. So that's, that's coming in at this side. It transforms it down from 240 volts down to about 6 volts. So if I put 250 in, you get about 6.3, 6.2 out of it, which you want to be running just over 6 volts so that the filaments are getting their full voltage out of that. You don't want to go underneath 6 volts because it actually damages the tube. So I go for 6.3, 6.2 minimum to uh, to run those. So that just basically warms up the tubes because they need to run warm. They will not run cold. I know either if I've tried. I haven't tried that. I don't want to do that. So so that's what that transformer does there. Um, that's the tank capacitor up on there. There's four of them in there. Um, it's a Russian capacitor. So there you go, you've got a, it says 470N, right? 
in Cyrillic N is P, so 470 picofarads, right? So there's four of those, so that makes eight, 1880 picofarads, which is 1.88 nanofarads. Right, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit complicated with these, uh, the Russian guys, you know, they don't make it quite easy for you. But that's, uh, once you've got that sorted out and figured out, then you're, you're pretty much good to go with that kind of stuff. So, that's basically, that's basically the circuit, guys. I'll, uh, I'll in include a link in the, uh, the instructions, the description for this to, uh, to Steve Ward's page, because it's loosely, it's loosely based on Steve Ward's Dual 811 vacuum tube Tesla coil circuit. So I'll link that down if any if any of you guys want to follow that circuit to build something similar in your own way, then uh, that's what he publishes it for for you guys to have a go, see what you guys can come up with. So that's basically all I've come up with from that, which is a good start into vacuum tube Tesla coiling, as he pretty much says. But obviously it has its disadvantages with these tubes in their uh, parallel configuration. It's not very good. Is that uneven loading? So yeah, I will change that at some point. Whether it's on this vacuum tube Tesla coil here, or whether it's on my little test one over there, that I'm going to start building up and uh, playing around with again. So uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. So yeah, nice.